Let us now understand how the movement versus shift in demand curve. If you remember, we had looked at various factors which affect demand. The most important thing was the price and then you had other factors like taste and preferences, okay, income, price of related goods, etc. Now when you talk about movement of demand curve, what you mean is that others things remaining constant, others remaining constant, when the price of a good increase, the quantity decreases, when the price of a good decrease, the quantity increases. Okay, so this change or this movement in the price and quantity of goods when other things remain the same is known as movement of demand curve. Now let's say you had demand curve this. Let's say the price was P1. At price P1 the quantity demanded was Q1. Suppose the price increased to P2 and the quantity was Q2. Now if you see if you see as the price increased, the quantity of a, the good decreased. Let's say the price fell down to P3. When the price fell down to P3, if you draw a curve on this, the quantity Q3 is equal to 38. Here it was 30, here it was 20. So any increase in price resulted in reducing the quantity demanded. So movement can actually be either expansion or contraction of demand. It is said to be an expansion when the quantity demanded increases. Contraction when quantity demanded decreases. And these increase and decrease are due to impact in price of the commodity, other things remaining the same. Please note that in case of movement of demand curve, what happens is that the demand curve remains the same and whatever changes are happening, they are happening on the same curve. Right? The second is the shift in the demand curve. Now a shift in the demand curve happens when price remains constant, price constant and other factors change. In this case, the price was changing, increasing or decreasing, other factors were constant. In this case, it's the reverse. Now, in such a case, there could be either an increase or a decrease in demand. Okay? Now, increase would mean greater demand at same price. Why? Because we have assumed that the price is constant. The 
decrease means lower demand at same price right now in this case basically graphically if you represent this let's say the price is this one the quantity demanded is q1 if there is an increase in demand there will be a demand curve or movement towards the right whereas if there is a decrease it moves on towards the left so this is basically represented by a different curve which moves towards the right or the left whereas in case of movement of demand curve it was happening along the same curve 